course, the families of those who were killed are absolutely our top priority. But today I wanted to take a moment to highlight a few of the Covenant school shooting heroes. I'm making entry on the front side. I the bravest of our heroes were the five officers who stormed the school, rushing into danger. They're upstairs. Hey. The body camera footage shows the pure self-sacrifice. None of them knew what they'd run into behind each door Let's go. or in each hallway go. on a mission to protect and serve. These officers, we train that when we respond to a situation like this, and God forbid, we was hoping we would never have to, but they did. And uh, they immediately went in. Uh, they found the threat. Uh, you're here on the body on camera video where with me, with me. Uh, the suspect is actually firing the weapon when they address them and actually uh, uh, mitigate uh, the, the threat. Our next heroes are the school bus drivers who drove into the emergency and loaded up the young survivors and moved them towards their reunion with their parents. We go into mama mode, daddy mode. You start feeling the, the love like they're your own kids. They buried their emotions to offer a sense of safety and normalcy to the frightened little ones. The kids like sitting right behind me and they started crying. You know, and I turned around and I said, you know, everything's gonna be okay now, you're on the bus. My kids started singing, the wheels on the bus go round and round. We really couldn't be fearful at that moment. We couldn't really think of what's going on over there. We're still not believing that it's real. Nashville's religious community members are also heroes. Pastors from all over Nashville offered their sanctuaries, first for the survivors and parents, a safe place of reunification. They've held vigils and remembrance ceremonies and offered words of comfort to our grieving community. I think the thing that's most needed right now is that we have, we have each other. I, I think a lot of times it's not so much what we say, it's just being present with each other. Uh, nobody has the answers to this. When the whole city goes through a situation like this, we've got to lean on each other more than we ever have before. Along with police, fire, and paramedics, the Metro Police Chaplain Division also rushed to the scene. Thirteen faith leaders were dispatched to comfort families waiting to see their children and console officers at the scene. A few, including Sergeant Andrew Ivey, who leads the team, had the most important task of all. Myself and, and a volunteer chaplain were at Vanderbilt with the parents who, who had lost children. I know with your line of work, you've had to do a lot of death notices, but um, I can't fathom what Monday must have been like. It was, it was extremely difficult. I mean, it, it really is. It's, all, it's always hard when a parent loses a child, and, um, and this was an especially difficult situation. And finally, you. This don't happen here. This don't happen here. Our community has wrapped its arms around the victims' families to support them in every way possible. People have gathered during vigils and walks through town. They've tied ribbons around their homes and in their neighborhoods. And of course, have added to the ever-growing memorial outside of the Covenant Church. There are truly too many heroes to name, too many young people. It, it ranged in age from anyone to everyone who has wanted to, to stop and pray to raise money. Um, ben, we are so grateful that this community has been able to rally around these families, and we hope that they know that, again, they stay our first priority.